Hi friends, I'll start with the poem of William Blake. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Perhaps you are surprised why I started with poetry. Because William Blake wasn't mistaken about the world in a grain of sand. Silicon is the basis of all electronics, from a simple diode to supermodern processors with a complex architecture, all of them made out of the silicon semiconductor which is extracted from sand. The modern world wouldn't exist without the usual river sand. Today we will do a few simple experiments that everybody can repeat. Anyone is familiar with diodes. They contain a crystal with electron hole transition. How it works is known to every person familiar with the physics or electronics. Crystals in modern diodes made from silicon, older specimens made of germanium. Typically, one diode has only one semiconductor crystal, but we will do experiments with high-voltage diode KC-106. This is the same diode, only about 10 crystals of the rain connected in series. Because of work in high-voltage circuits, it is necessary to increase the maximum reverse voltage. Solar modules are also made of silicon, and it is similar to the diode crystal. Therefore, if the solar light will shine on the diode crystal, it will produce electricity. This is germanium diode used in the middle of the last century. As you can see, it can produce some voltage. This voltage can be increased by connecting several diodes in series. A current can be increased by connecting them in parallel. Because in diode KC-106, crystals already connected in series. Voltage is much more than for one crystal. It produces a current under the sun, even if the crystal is coated with an insulating plastic. Now you can see this phenomenon. If concentrate sunlight with the lens, the voltage increases significantly, and in the shade it is reduced. After carefully dismantling the diode, we can see the crystals. We carry out the same experiment with the removed coating. Now the result is much better. Here is the simplest solar cell. But current is meager, only a few microamperes. Our supply of ordinary LED should be connected in parallel dozens, even hundreds of such diodes. The same effect can be seen when sunlight shines on the LED. Moreover, the voltage of the LED comes to 1.5 volts, but current no more than 10 microamps. The best results have infrared LEDs. One watt diode under autumn sun can produce more than 60 microamps. Efficiency of such solar cell is lower than from usual modules, because crystal surfaces are partly overlapped. If you want to build a solar panel of diodes, I would say that it is not profitable. While many, and I among them, made them of the transistors or diodes many years ago, but it was time there were no smartphones, PC tablets, cheap online shopping and much more. I found my old files in the net. Here are my handmade solar panels. Thanks for watching, have a nice day! With you was Akakasyan.